draw a line. Hi everyone and welcome to Time to Draw, where you are going to learn how to draw with me, James. Thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you for joining us for our Time to Draw live show. And as promised, we are going to draw a rhinoceros. So for this scene, you could download and print this particular drawing sheet here from einzimedia.org under downloadables. It is the one where we have mountains on both sides and they're about the same height. Okay, we have little trees on the side, grass down here. Okay, so this is what we are going to use to draw our rhinoceros and this is going to be a ton of fun. Now remember, all you really need to follow along is a piece of paper, pencil, pen, a marker, doesn't really matter as long as we are having fun. So I'm gonna start off with a lighter pencil here and the color I'm gonna use is blue. You could use whatever color you want, but make sure it's something lighter so we can learn how to draw together, okay? Now for a rhinoceros, we are going to start with the head. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a circle like so, okay? This will start us off with the head here. And now, to figure out where the eyes are gonna go, I'm gonna draw a line that goes go straight across and a line that will go straight down. And actually what I want to do now is figure out where the snout is, okay? So where the nose and the mouth are gonna go. To do that, I'm actually gonna draw another circle more like an oval, and it's going to be a long one. It's going to go down a little bit lower, like so. Just like that, okay? So this will be where the nose and the mouth are going to go, all right? Now, like, like we did up here, I want to find out where the midsection is of this particular oval. So I think a good, a good way to find that out, if you see the, where this intersects here, these two circles here. I might draw a line that just goes straight across, like so, okay? And I will tell you why in a little bit, and I'll draw a line that goes straight down like that, all right? Now, let's rough in where the eyes are gonna go. So we have our two little lines that go straight across here. I'm gonna try to find the midsection of these, maybe around here, right here, okay? And right here. I'm gonna draw two circles right above it. I'm gonna draw one like this, and one like this. And that will be where our two eyes are. If you want to, we can do this already. I'll draw another circle right inside. We're gonna do the same on the other side. Here, like that. Okay? Now, just for fun, I'm gonna go down here to the bottom of this circle here. I'm gonna try to find out where the mouth is. Okay, I don't want to go in the middle here. I want to go down a little bit further. So I would say maybe roughly around here, about three quarters of the way down from this line here, right here. And I might draw a line that goes straight across, like so. Okay, great job. Now, I want to, I'm going to use this middle line here to find out where the rhinoceros' nostrils are. So how are we going to do that? From this line here, I might draw figure out where the middle points of these two lines are, maybe roughly here. I'm gonna draw a little circle here. And in between these two points here, I might draw a little circle here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and around this, I'm gonna draw two circles, like so, okay? So this will be the one nostril, this will be the other, and in this corner here, I might even draw another little circle like so, okay? So not, not in the middle. Over to the bottom corner here, I will draw a little circle. I will do the same on this side, on this left-hand corner of the circle, like so. Okay, great job. Now for fun, if I go down this line here, you see this little curved line that we have here that goes in between here and here? I might try to find the midsection of that, maybe like right here. Right here, this point right here, this point right here. Same way or on this side. I'm going to try to find the middle section, maybe right here. And on both sides, I might do this little curved line here. Watch very carefully. I'm going to draw a line that goes from here all the way up to maybe, maybe around here, I would say. Maybe around right here. Okay, maybe this where this intersects here, right there. I'm going to draw a line that goes from here to here to there. So I'm going to do that right now. Maybe it'll go up, down, and around. Go up down, on round, like that. 
and we will do that on the other side. So I'm going to find this point maybe roughly around here. Okay. So we'll go down and around, just like so. All right. Now we're going to figure out where the ears are. Let's find out where the ears are. If we go around this curved line here, maybe around here, I'm going to draw a little oval that sticks out like, like that. It'll be the one ear. And then along this side here, we will do the same thing. I'm going to draw a little oval on that side as well. Okay. Now, for fun, I might point this out a little bit. You see how this rounds out? I might add a little, just a little bit like that. Make it a little bit more pointy. Same with this side. Okay, and then I might draw a curved line right inside, like so. Let's do the same on the other side. I like going back and forth between both sides so I make sure they're even. Okay. And maybe one more from this line here, I might go down a tiny bit and draw a little curved line like that, just a little bit. Same with the other side. There you go. All right, great job. Now, let's see here. Let's start with the body. Okay, let's go ahead and draw the body. And I'm gonna draw a big circle that will go around here all the way around. Maybe we'll outline just underneath the mouth here. So watch very carefully. I'm gonna draw a big circle that goes all the way around to underneath the mouth and around. Because hippo uh, rhinoceros, they're pretty big, so. Okay, great job there. And I'm gonna draw another curved line right on the side here. This will be the back of the rhino. Like that, okay. Now, one thing I did forget to do on the face here, I forgot right, a rhinoceros has horns. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Okay, you see where we have these two nostrils here? Okay, and we have this little point that's right here, all right? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna draw a circle that will go right in the middle, like so. Just like that. A little bigger one, a little bigger than the nostrils, okay? Now let's go up here, and let's start at the top of this line here. Let's go down just a tiny bit, maybe down to here. This point here, a little bit above the eyes, right here. And this is what we're gonna do special here. I'm gonna do little, two curved lines. One that will go from here all the way to the side of this circle. And then another one that goes from the same point to the other side. So I will draw a line that goes straight down. We're gonna go woo, ooh, like that, yeah. We can draw on the other side too. We go woo, oh. just like that. That is, that is its horn, first horn here. And I might add another one right behind it. How am I gonna do that? Well, from this point here, I might go up a little bit, maybe even halfway between these two points right here, okay? And I'm gonna draw a curved line that goes from here to the top of the circle, probably end up like here. So down like that, and in, down like that, and in. So we have our two horns here on the top of his mouth. While we're here, I might draw, draw in these eyebrows, like so, these two curved lines right on top. Like that, okay? Now, let's get to the legs here. Let's get to the legs. What I'm gonna do is draw, I'm gonna draw two ovals here. I'm gonna draw one from around here. Then we'll go down maybe around to here, so not too far down, okay? I don't have to complete it here. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And I'm gonna draw another oval that goes like this. I might even square off the bottom a little bit here, like that. Square off the bottom. Same on this side. Draw another oval. Square off the bottom there, like that. Okay? Now let's draw the, draw the back leg. I'm gonna draw a curved line like this, behind. Another curved line down and underneath. Just like that. See that? Now like we did with the hippopotamus during the live show, we're gonna draw kind of like these nails in the front or toes, and there's gonna be three of them on both sides. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go one, two, three. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. We're gonna go one, two, three.
two, three. And because we can see this leg a little bit more on this side, I might add one more here on this side because we see that a little bit, okay? Now, now let's see if we are already, I think we're already ready to go to start using a darker color, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and use a marker here. This is a fine liner, but again, you could use any type of uh, pencil, like a darker pencil crayon or a marker, or you could even just press harder with the, the current uh, pen that you are using or pencil you're using. Okay, I'm gonna just start with the micron here. And let's go to the eye. I always like uh, doing the eyes first. So I'm gonna draw a line. Again, I'm not gonna outline this whole thing. I'm gonna start from this point right here. Draw a line that goes all the way down to about here. Curves all the way down, go woo, woo, like that. Okay, all the way down. And then I'm gonna draw in this eyelash. I like drawing my eyes like this. I think they look pretty cute doing that. And then I'm gonna draw the other side this and around. And now let's go ahead and draw in the iris of the eye, like so. Iris like this. Like that. And you've seen me do this before. I will draw in a smaller circle right inside. Draw a little circle on the top of that. This will be the highlight and then I will fill that in. Usually I'll grab a marker just because it's a little bit faster. like so. And for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and draw in this little line here on the top. Like that, okay, now let's do that for the other side. Just gonna switch out my pens here. Let's do the other side here. We're gonna do the eyelash here. Straight down. Fill that in. Gonna do a line that goes down here like this and around. And now let's draw the iris here. And draw a circle inside. Again, you can stop here if you want, but I'm gonna add the other circle. Draw the highlight in, and then fill it in. Great job. Okay, now let's draw the outer line here like so. There it is. Okay, now let's go ahead and start working on this snout here. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Something interesting we're gonna do here. First of all, mm, let's start with this mouth part here. Okay, and I'll show you why in a second. Let's draw a line. You see where this line crosses here? I'm gonna start with a line with a little dot, like so. And draw a line that goes straight up right to, you see where this circle kind of intersects here? Crosses there, right there, like that. Okay. And now I'm gonna draw a line that will go from maybe right underneath the eye, or like right here, and it will follow this, but instead of going all the way around, I might let it go out a little bit, maybe around to here. So it goes out a little bit, okay? Out a little bit, watch very carefully. You go from here, go ooh, ooh, like that, down to there, okay? So it's not completely rounded, out a little bit, and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. From this point to this point, I'm actually gonna make a little curved line that goes like this. Watch very carefully. Curve it. Curve it, just like so. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna start from here, draw a line that goes all the way down, not to here, but out a little bit, just a little bit, right there. And draw that line that goes straight down like that. Okay? And then draw a little curved line underneath. Just like that. And then let's go ahead and draw in this curved line that we did underneath, like so. Just like that. Now let's go ahead and draw in these nostrils, okay? So again, I'm not gonna draw this line all the way around. I'm gonna start maybe from here and end off maybe around here. So watch very carefully. I might even square it off just a tiny bit. So not completely round, but squared off, like that, okay? I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I'm gonna start from here, goes around to here. So it goes up and around and down, like that, okay? And now let's go ahead and draw this nostril here. So I'll just do a curved line like that. I'll do a curved line like that. And just for fun, 
You don't have to do this, but I'm gonna do this. I got a little circle here like this, inside. A little circle on the inside here like that, and I'm gonna fill that in. There you go. And that is the nostril, okay? Now let's go ahead and draw in these horns here. So let's, we're not gonna draw this inner uh, circle here. We're just gonna outline it, all right? So I'm gonna go from here to the top. Maybe I'll use the Sharpie for this. I'm gonna start here from the top, goes down to here. Same on the other side, down to there. And then draw the line that goes underneath like this. Okay, and now let's go ahead and draw the other one right behind it. One and two. All right, so now let's go ahead and outline the head of this rhinoceros here. Let's start from the bottom of the ear here. I'm gonna start from this point here and we will use the points that we made all the way down. We're gonna go down, around, and around. Just for fun, I'm just gonna thicken these lines here. You don't have to do this, I'm just gonna do it here. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start from here, go down, around, and around. So we're gonna go down, around, and around. Okay? And on the top, and we did this before, I'm gonna draw a point here, a point here, and a point here. Three dots, but instead of going straight, I'm gonna curve it a little bit. Watch very carefully. I'm gonna do a curve line that goes up and around like that, up, and around like that. Very slight curve there at the top, okay? Now let's go ahead and draw the ears. I'm gonna draw a line that goes straight up, and around like that. Kind of like a teardrop shape, right? Let's do the same on the other side before we forget. Up, and around like that. Let's draw the, let's draw the inner ear. Let's draw this curved line that goes like this. and we're gonna draw out a curved line inside the middle here. Now let's do the same on the other side. We do a curved line like this, and a curved line in the middle there. Great job. Now let's draw the rest of its body, okay? Now let's draw this first part here, this, this top part, okay? And this is what we're gonna do here. I'm actually gonna ignore these going in like this. I might draw a line that goes here, all the way straight down to the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna start from here, this part of the circle here. I'm gonna draw a line that goes to this part of the ear, around here, and then all the way down to the bottom, maybe around here, right there. So this curved line here, so we'll go all the way down here, watch it like that. So we're gonna go up, go whoop, whoop, whoop and around, whoop, oh, all right, like that. Then all the way down this time, I'm gonna go all the way down and go, that, okay? So for this side, we might do something similar. I'm actually gonna start from maybe this point right here that we have. I am gonna curve it, but I'm not gonna go into a point. I'm actually gonna do like a curved line that goes out to here. So I'm gonna draw a line that goes from here all the way to here. If you're confused with what I'm saying, just follow along, watch me do it first, then you do it. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a line that goes from here. It curves down like that. Okay, so all these obviously we did here, that's more of a guide to figure out where everything is. I just want to kind of like a curved straight line all the way down, okay? But what we will follow is the little toenails here. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw these in, we go one. Now here, look at here at what I did at the bottom here. I did it more like a nail, if you look like your fingernail here, we get the round part here and then a little curved line at the bottom there. So we do one, two, and three. Okay, let's do the same on the other side. We go one, two, and three. There we go, we're almost done, really. I'm actually gonna draw a very small curved line right here. And instead of following these, I might even just draw a straight line that goes straight down here. We'll keep it simple. And curve out like that. Okay, so we got two legs in the front. Now for this one here, I'm gonna draw a curved line. I actually might make this a tiny bit lower, just a tad maybe to here. I'm gonna draw a curved line that goes from here all the way down to here. Let's do that, I'm gonna go from here all the way down 
to there. Okay? Now let's go ahead and draw this curved line that we did here. Here, around, down, and then just draw the one last toe here. And for the most part, that is our rhinoceros. There it is. And you could color this any way that you want, any color that you could imagine. You could draw this and you could detail this any way you want. Don't forget, you could take this particular sheet of paper and connect it to the ones we did in the live show. Uh, I'm not sure if you could see this. We could put it together. We could put it together and we could get this very nice uh, drawing all together. You could color this again any way you want and hang it wherever you want in the house. So. There it is, so thank you very much. That's our rhinoceros, and uh, I want to see your drawings. I always want to see your drawings, so please send it to us at info at incmedia.org or use the hashtag time to draw and hashtag INC Kids. Thank you so much for drawing with me, and remember, there is always time to draw. I'll see you next time. Time to draw.